Hey, and welcome to the second episode of The Used Info with me, LD. We've got some great stuff for this episode, and I hope that you enjoy it very much. So this week, there's not much on each individual person, um, as I've seen uh, over Twitter or any information that I've got. Um, there hasn't been much um, about you know, each person in the band, but there's been a, quite a bit of news about the band in general, and that's what we'll be talking about today. So we've got some big ones today, but the first, I'm going to start off small, and the first one is that uh, the band has got their jet back, Ask Force One, and uh, if you didn't know that it was, uh, that they didn't have, you know, that jet in possession for a while, and join the rest of us, because I had no idea either. Also, they are most of the band, Bob Bird, I think, uh, had lunch with uh, John Feldman, who is, as I believe, producing the new album, and uh, Brendan uh, Steinerkart, I think you pronounce his name, Steinerkart, Steinerkart. Yeah. Anyway, the ex-drummer of the band. Um, yeah, that just goes to show that they're still great friends with Brendan. It's good to see them out, you know having lunch with him and, and you know, just, just mingling with, with past friends and, and obviously they're still good friends, so yeah, it's good to see. Also, Dan Whitesides has just been to uh, Virginia on holidays to see his wife's family. Um, he went to a place called Park Maymont or Maymont Park. Um, and uh, posted a picture, I'll show it in a second, uh, quite a beautiful place and it's good to see him out with his family, uh, just, you know, chilling, having some family time. So here's the big two. First of all, The Used has got three demos done and dusted and uh, apparently they sound great and if they think they sound great then we're going to think they sound freaking amazing. So I'm um, pretty excited about that. And uh, the big one, the very big one, the one that I myself am ecstatic about, The Used is coming to Australia for Soundwave Revolution. <sighs> Words can't explain how amazing that is. The, uh, you know, and, and this has been confirmed exclusively to me by Dan Whiteside himself. So definitely playing Soundwave Revolution, and uh, so when tickets come out, Australians, just, just, just go and buy them, because it's going to be freaking amazing, so. Then, so that's basically all I've got for this episode, um, like I said, there wasn't much about each member of the band per se, but there was little bits of uh, each person in there. Uh, except for Jeffrey and Quinn, who I'm assuming are just, you know, chilling at home, doing what they do. Uh, Dan uh, Dan um, posted on Twitter that he was uh, doing some practicing or jamming, I guess is what they would call it, um, with Jeff. Uh, so, so he's still around, and uh, Quinn's probably spending some quality time with his new fiancé, um, which is quite understandable on his part. But um, yeah, that's all I've got for this episode, and um, I hope you like it, and I hope you're as excited as I am about, uh, you know, uncovering a couple more mysteries about the uh, the used, and um, yeah, make sure you, uh, even if you're not in Australia, um, for uh, Soundwave Revolution, um, you know, from New Zealand, or if you've got the money, yeah, America, yeah. Um, you know, it's, it's a great festival, it always is. Um, come and show your support for all the bands, and uh, the used will be there too, so that's exciting. And that's all I've got, so um, I'll see you next time.